So I was talking about New York. It's, uh, it's just a different place, man. I, I, um, I was walking on the sidewalk one day in my neighborhood, just walking, and I passed this guy and he goes, uh, yo, brother, you wanna buy us some steaks? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I got her wonder what the success rate of that sales pitch would be. <laughs> that would have to be a very specific situation. A guy would have to be like, you know what, I'm in the market for some steaks, but I don't wanna go the traditional route. I'm just gonna start walking. See if anybody offers me some steaks. If they don't, I was not meant to have steak. I was in a restaurant in New York one time with my friend Patty, and we were having a nice meal, and a mouse ran over Patty's foot in, in the restaurant. I, was, I mean, I was like, there's a mouse? You should have seen how quickly the three guys that worked at the restaurant got their story straight about the mouse. They're like, must have come from outside. Yes, yes, outside. I know this mouse, I see him outside all the time. <laughs> he know he's not supposed to be in here. I... Well, yeah, I agree that the mouse did probably come from outside as mice are not indigenous to falafel restaurants, but I wasn't really concerned with where the mouse was from. Like, I don't care where he gets his mail. I don't care where his permanent address. He's on Patty's foot right now. That's my main issue with the mouse. And like, is that what you do here when something goes wrong in your restaurant? Hey, there's a dead body in your bathroom. Oh, uh, he come from outside. Uh, <laughs> this man was not born in the bathroom, live his entire life in the bathroom, then die in the bathroom. Do not worry about this man. He, he come from outside. I, 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 I think he know the mouse. Uh, I guess, I mean, the thing is, there's, there's crazy people in New York City. That's the, they're just, they're, there's crazy. And there's crazy people all over. Um, there's crazy people here, okay? But usually you're in a car and they're not. <laughs> Think about it. Usually it's just like, oh, they roll the window up, no more crazy. You know, if you're next to a crazy person here, I mean, that's your fault. You married him or whatever, like that's just, you can't. In New York, you have no choice. This, I mean, they're on the subway, you're just, you ride the subway, you're next to every, the subway is a mental institution, it is. I mean, it takes people places, but that is its secondary purpose, it is. I was on the subway one day and this lady just walked on the subway, she started singing. All I want for Christmas is a fish sandwich. All I want for Christmas is a fish sandwich. All I want for Christmas is a fish sandwich. All I was like, come on, lady, we're in public here. <laughs> Guess what song has been stuck in my head for the last two years? I can't get rid of it. That woman should not be homeless. She's a hit maker, okay? She, she may be one of the greatest lyricists of our time. I've heard 11 Taylor Swift songs. I don't know the words. I know all the words to fish sandwich. And, and guess what? Nobody's wondering what to get her for Christmas. You know that one woman that rides a train, I want to get her a gift, but I just a dude, she wants a fish sandwich. You gotta listen to the lyrics. You're getting caught up in the beat, man. Six of you are gonna wake up tomorrow morning. <laughs> You're gonna be in the shower. Be like, all I want, I hate Greg Warren. I hate him. <laughs> hey, it's Greg Warren. Thank you for watching that. If you wanna watch my entire special, you can do it by clicking right here, or you can just watch some more clips. Uh, I'm not sure how many more clips. It's like seven or, hey, Steve, how many more clips do we have? Oh, it's 1188 clips. So, I mean, that's quite a few. I was, I was a little off.